So I got my hands on a convertible that had some fairly basic panel damage, which we fixed, then got the car back together. But once I removed my tape job, it revealed that there was a huge amount of overspray that had gotten onto the car. This is how you get rid of that spray. So you've got overspray on your car for whatever reason when you've painted your car you've left a gap. Um, the gap that I left on my car was at the back of the bonnet. I covered the engine bay in paper and tape. I covered the entire car but I left a gap at the back of the engine bay where the back of the bonnet and the, the windscreen um, would usually need to be covered and so that's where the paint got on my car. What we're using is this a clay bar kit and the way clay bar kit works is this bar has obviously got clay in it and it will take any imperfection that's on top of the paint off which is in our case the overspray. So what you get in your kit is you get a spray on thing, this is the detailer there. This is just to moisten um, the panel that you're working on. Then I cut the bar into three parts, I'm just using a, a box cutter. And then, um, and then you use that, just, you massage the clay into a workable piece, rub that back and forwards, and it will pick up anything that is sitting on the surface of the car. Here's a, um, a bar that I've already used uh, fairly extensively, and so you can see this, just the amount of dirt and muck that that picks up. In our case, um, in there would be a little bit of color overspray from when I sprayed uh, sprayed, I painted the front of the car in the black but also there's a lot of undercoat um, and primer that will be in in that bit that, that we're getting off and you can see that in this video. So what you get is clay bar, your spray and your, your special cloth um, to be able just to, to wipe it all off when you're done. So as you can see, I've had a really good go at cleaning this car and I actually have had a go at the clay bar before, but these are the areas that I haven't done yet or that I missed on the first time. You can see it looks like there's a haze or there's something over the paint. You can see these patches just in the crease um, between the doors that I'd missed. So first things first, you've got to make sure your car's clean. If you don't do this, your clay bar will end up picking up every piece of dirt that's on your car, which means it's going to fill up really quickly and it's not going to be effective. So you want a clean surface first. So give your car just a quick wash, it doesn't have to be the best wash in the world. Hose it off, dry it, and then what will be left is it means the clay bar can then do the job that it's meant to do and pick up the paint and the, the bodies and the, the stuff that's sitting on top of the paint. Now we are spraying on our spray stuff that came with the, the clay bar and using our clay bar there just to give it a really good wipe. I'm just using a really clean cloth to wipe that back, then rinsing repeating, doing it again. More spray, making sure there's tons and tons and tons of spray, making sure it's a really wet area and then going over and over again. Now it's time to use a buffer. And so we've got our stuff going on there. We're using the buffer just to get the, the final part off, just to get that really deep cut and actually cut into the paint a little bit so that if there is anything sitting on top, we can actually get rid of that once and for all. Now using a microfiber cloth, we wipe back anything that's left over from using our buffer, um, anything that we've used from cutting the car back. And what you will see is something that looks really, really quite clean. We missed a spot. Um, go over anything, make sure it is absolutely 100%. And it should look just like this. The, the next 
um, tool that we're going to use to get rid of our overspray is a razor. Very, very simple. Um, I read this on the forums, which was great. Now, this car's not the cleanest, but you can still see a little bit of the overspray. What we're going to do here is you can see there's some overspray still left down here um, on the window. So, what we're going to do is with our razor blade on the window, you can see that is actually coming off super easy um, and that is just the easiest way if you've got overspray on your glass um, a razor blade is just so so simple a way to to get that off and now your car looks new again <laughs>